Hi Year 9 and welcome to this video that is going to talk you through what psychology at GCSE looks like. So my name is Miss Lewis, I'm the head of psychology. Some of you may be familiar with me, some of you probably are not. Um, our other teachers that are in our psychology department are Miss Sharman, which is also an assistant vice principal, and Miss Bates, who is the director of learning for year 10. Now, as psychology is one of the few GCSE subjects that you haven't had the opportunity of studying previously, um, I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, well, actually, what is psychology? Now, psychology is the scientific study of the human mind and its functions, and especially is interested in looking at how they affect behaviour in certain contexts. Now, as a department, we have also come up with our own uh purpose for us studying psychology and what we want all of our students to get out of studying psychology and that is that we think that psychology seeks to find causal scientific explanations for human thought and behavior so that we can aim to create positive compassionate people who understand each other rather than than condemn the behaviours of each other. So we want all of our students who take psychology to come out feeling more positive, more passionate towards others because they have an understanding of why they may be behaving in certain ways. Now, you may have also asked yourself the following questions and wondered, why is it that so many people obeyed Hitler's orders in World War II? Why is it that cats only meow at humans and not other cats? What are the best revision techniques to use? Why is it that babies act genuinely surprised to see you in a game of peekaboo? How can you better your mental health? Why, when you are driving in a car... Does it seem like the things that are really close to you are moving super fast, but the things that are further away seem like they're moving extremely slowly? And lastly, why is it that when cartoon characters hit the back of their head, they see stars? Now, if you've wondered any of these questions or are now wondering any of these questions, these are all of the things that we can answer throughout the uh, psychology GCSE. Now, the psychology GCSE is assessed in two exams, so it is 100% exam based. There are no uh, pieces of coursework to complete. Each exam is an hour and 45 minutes long. The exam consists of some multiple choice questions. There are some short answer questions. The content of the um, psychology GCSE does include some math skills and also some graph interpretation. And lastly, there is some extended writing. So there are essays in psychology. Now I must say that psychology does involve lots of writing in class and for examinations, we do require you to do pre-reading before lessons, making notes. So um, there is a lot of writing within this subject. Now, in uh, the exam, there are two papers. So in paper one, these are some of the things that we cover. So looking at memory, how do we store memories? Why do we forget things? Perception does take a look at some visual illusions. Um, development looks at how do individual children develop and how do they learn certain skills. Research methods is concerned with how do psychologists actually carry out their pieces of research? Paper two um, looks at social influence. So social influence is about how our behavior is affected by others. Um, language, thought and communication looks at how do we develop language? What comes first, language or thought? Um, how do animals communicate, communicate in comparison to humans? Uh, brain and neuropsychology looks at what different parts of the brain are responsible for uh, different behaviours. And lastly, psychological problems looks at mental health. Specifically, we look at depression and addiction and looking at explanations for why they might develop and how we could possibly treat them. Now, if you're thinking about how does psychology link to careers? Now, the good thing with psychology, because as you can see, um, it covers such a vast amount of topics. It is quite applicable to a lot of different uh, jobs. And the fact that it 
requires you to have an understanding of human behavior and individuals that is always going to be beneficial to most careers so some that it might be helpful towards are things like a doctor because again you're thinking about patient interaction lawyer understanding behaviors behind people therapists that that mental health kind of counseling aspect social worker thinking about the development of children even as a teacher we cover a lot of um psychology literature when we're thinking about how to teach best practice and business a lot of marketing is aimed from uh, psychological research and these are just to name a few like I said it does um, cover such a vast amount of areas that it is really applicable to a lot of jobs. Now the subject requirements there aren't any specific but we will look at your science maths and English because there is some biology there is maths for sure in GCSE psychology and obviously with the amount of written and extended writing some of the uh, questions English is definitely going to be taken into account but the most important thing that we like to look for for students uh, doing psychology GCSE is that you are exceeding your targets on average across your subjects so it means that not just the subjects that you think that you're going to be taking for GCSE but across the board to see that you are a hard-working and dedicated student um, and lastly I just want us to think about how has and how does psychology change the world so I'm not very good at positioning my picture um, it obviously has helped people to overcome depression, stress, trauma, and even phobias. It's helped ease the effects of trauma on children because we have a better understanding of that. Um, now that we know what happens in the brain when certain injuries are caused, we can think about treatments and recovery plans to help in those instances. Um, we can come up with strategies to help and prevent bullying in the workplace and in school. Um, and like I said, as teachers, we do use psychological literature to make sure that we're teaching in the best possible way. Um, helping athletes um, and sports individuals to perform better. There is an area of psychology called sports psychology, which looks at that. Um, and even in this current coronavirus pandemic, lots of psychologists have been recruited because we are trying to influence people's behaviours um, around um COVID-19 in terms of social distancing, washing their hands, etc. So psychological knowledge is really um, prevalent in helping with understanding how we can make um, more people um, use those strategies. So it's always going to be a relevant piece of um, piece of education to have. It will always um, have applicability throughout life. Okay, if you are um, interested in any more information, then you can go to the K online and look at the psychology GCSE lessons. You can speak to either myself, Miss Sharman or Miss Bates. I know that's a bit tricky at the moment with lockdown, but maybe um, if you are watching this video at a later date, you might be able to find me. But the best possible thing to do if you have any questions is to either email myself, which is the last email address, so s.lewis, or you can email Miss Sharman or Miss Bates with any questions that you have that have not been covered in this video. Um, I hope I have piqued your interest in psychology um, and I look forward to either receiving some emails with further questions from you guys or to see you next year on the course. Um, thank you for listening.